Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Maisha Renee, aka Glittering Gills. And today I'm going to be switching out the aerator cartridge pump housing on my 175 tracker. I actually don't need the cartridge, but I do need that housing unit because it has an inlet pipe attached, which is needed to attach the aerator strainer on the outside of the boat. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's try it. You guys, the job itself is not really expensive or hard. It's just the location that makes it very difficult. So small hands are a plus if you can find a pair. So the original one that we have, I'm trying to light a little bit. When we got the boat, it was already cut like this, but it looked like they did it too perfect. And they just said, forget it, because the live well is like, has never even been done, been used, you can tell. And this is the one that we were blessed with. And this is the part. So you see how much space you have. So we got to cut it down, but we can't cut it too short. So definitely we don't want to follow the pattern on that. We got to go a little bit longer so it can come out because you can't even attach the mesh on there if you don't have enough to screw it on, which is this. So my husband's going to go ahead and cut it down a little bit. So awkward, y'all. The angle. We got to get in that hole right here. So there we go. We're going to cut it with that. This is a um, PVC cutter, right? Yep, so a PVC cutter, y'all, we're going to use that. And um, try to get it in that hole over there, maneuver it just right. Yep, okay. Alright, y'all, we're right out of daylight. So, you can see, the girls up here, we on top of. <laughs> we're on top of the boat, y'all. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so you'll notice at this point, I am struggling to get this piece in. The area is super, super tight and just very compact. And it's hard to kind of like get any type of movement going. So you'll see me keep sticking my hand under that little threshold under there because it is very small. And I was trying to see if I can maybe maneuver it around there, but it's probably like four inches high. So the struggle is real, you guys. At this point, I think we're going to have to cut it down a little more we just didn't want to cut too much because we don't want to be in the same situation that the previous owner was so bear with us we're speeding it up but it definitely took some time and it's super uncomfortable I think I need, like a little piece Alright y'all, so we didn't cut it down some. We're trying to get this on, trying to get this um, to our um, live well. Um, the mesh was off, but in order to get that, like they cut it too short 
and to try to get it in me and i understand why this is our original so they had it like super short y'all look at that compared um they start off really long we've literally cut off this much of ours but i understand why they cut it so short because it's hard to move around but they end up cutting um, i believe too short and that's why they just said forget it so the live well has it's never even been used so we just took we're taking off little piece by piece just to maneuver in and we'll see i think we may have got it if not we're gonna go off a little bit more all right ready yep here we go this part is just the part that's hard to get in you just can't go straight to that because you can't even the only real lineup is right here and that it won't go no far because there's something blocking that piece so going in this angle right here you're in an angle and you can't turn it straight so the block was this because it's, it's the pieces like this so when you try to go there's something that's right here so when you try to go like this you can't t to get that straight in so it's forcing to do this way which it can't go straight in you know okay, so it need a little Okay. I think like right there. Okay. Oh, it's cold. Mm. It's so cold, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is good. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Alright, got a little shorty y'all. It's literally like a half inch off. There's a the boy right here. He's in the way, huh? All right, y'all, so we end up cutting it maybe like two more lines more um, just to get it down. And then my husband, he was able to force it down a little bit more. So he probably took it off like about that much more. It's probably a little shorter than this, huh? Maybe, yeah. yeah. Shoot. A little shorter than that. But um, we got it in. He had to force it down because this, this is our old one. 
this piece right here is what what makes it really hard to get out so he forced it without cracking it to get it down and now we're gonna try to now we gotta try to screw this the pipe back on the hose back on very awkward Get on the alpha, yo. Just so it wouldn't be wobbling so much. Then I'll put it back in here. Crazy. <laughs> 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 Yeah, cause they only give me it's gonna give you like not even you can't even turn it in half much. You go tie for you? I think that's... Yeah, that's tight. Oh, wait. It's real tricky. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Got him. Now that orange piece, can you stand it up? Stand it up straight as you can. So what happened, if I didn't explain the previous video, was that the previous owner, it looks like they were trying to replace it, but they cut off the nozzle, the holes too close, which I'll show you guys again a really close up one. Um, and you can't screw, screw this on. And I get why they cut it, because it's so awkward trying to get it into that space, but they cut off too much. And I think they just said, forget it. But we want to use our live wheel. So we're gonna repair it. So we got it in, um, we cut off just enough where we still have a little space to cough a little bit more so we can fit this in. So what I'm working with today is the aerator strainer and some silicone rubber. You wanna make sure you use marine grade. But other than that, you guys, so far it's looking like this is a good, good deal with this boat and um, we'll get it going. So, all right, you guys, let's finish this up because it's cold. <laughs> If you look like, see y'all how I'm trying to fit in. It's really small, really tight. It hurts a little bit too, y'all. But get it in. So fit it in here. Try to fit these little pieces right into like a little groove that's there. this piece right here you got to make sure that it's lifted a little bit so it can turn or it's not going to turn for you so it's locked it's in there really good um and that's that now what i do now is just seal the outside and we're good y'all all right it's <sighs> crazy all right y'all <laughs> I 
if I'm using the silicone rubber. Um, make sure it's marine grade, you guys. That is very important um, just to make sure. And this one is a low odor, mildew resistant. All that stuff matters, whatever. Basically, you just don't want it to see through. So you can check that at all costs. If you do all this work, don't skip on the products, y'all. Let's get this open. doing a small space if you were doing like some really big caulking then you might want to cut down low but we're going small so I don't want too much to come out all right y'all so let's get the silicone there we go so I'm gonna get it around a thread and two just so it can do its thing. I should have probably cut a little bigger, but this is fine. Shoot. Y'all we gotta go a little bigger. <laughs> Alright, y'all, so I'm gonna cut it a little, go down a little more because that that's not it. Let's give it a little squeeze, open it up. We'll try that real quick. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little better. Alright. <laughs> And it's okay, a little goopy because it's gonna smash, and you can clean it off after that. Get it on the thread in a little bit just so it get this whole little lock secure thing in. And put some on back in here as well. Come on, get in there. Okay. All right, y'all. So now let's go ahead and screw it. Find that groove. You hand screwing it in, but you definitely want to get your uh, tool to tighten it up once you get it how you want it see how it's smashing all around so that's what you want because that's going to just turn to a nice little rubber little seal around keep all that water out while you out there beasting y'all all right all right so that's actually pretty tight but mm -hmm. And then get the wrench. Yeah. Okay. Alright, y'all. So just want to get all the silicone off the groove just for right now because I want to be able to make sure I got a cool, clean turn in. Go do a super clean. If this ain't the shop, and I want it to still be around there really good. Make sure you don't take it all the way off. Mm -hmm. But this will definitely create what you need, protection of what you need. All right, that's good right there. Now, go ahead and we're gonna get this on. All right, so now we gotta just put this on. Let's just first, we're gonna test it out to see um, if it's too long, up. let's get that groove on, right? And we'll cut it. Well, we don't want to be like the previous owner and cut it too short. We have plenty of space to work with, but just interested to see how far we're going. So, yes, we definitely got to cut a lot because if you can see right here, 
Can you see that? Right here, that's far, That's as far as I can go in. So we've ran a thread to screw in. Um, it is not even, barely even in there. So we're gonna cut down a good little amount, y'all. I'm just gonna put my finger right here to see how far we had to go in. Uh, All right, so basically, it's only like that much that needs to be out to get the good screw in. So we can go in a little more. So, we're gonna cut it, you guys. Are you? Uh, yeah. All right, y'all, so now it's time. We cut it, cut it with the sawzall. Now it's time to put the aerator strainer on and we should be done, you guys. Um, went on, once we cut it with the sawzall, you know, it get a little, a little bit not bad it's actually a really clean cut if you see it so i just took the little edges and just kind of just to make sure nothing was sticking off just because at first it didn't want to screw on and then just give it a little push and let's see there you go i think that might have been the perfect cut too there you go yeah so the strainer is in place And yeah, you don't want to um, silicone your strainer because if you start getting a lot of gunk, crawfish, you know, little <laughs> fish body parts, whatever, scales, things like that, grass, junk, you want to be able to take that off, you know, screw it off. Just do it real quick for y'all. You want it simple just like that to be able to screw it off and then get your water hose and then just spread on the outer side and get all that nasty stuff out. You want to be able to do that, you guys. If not, I mean, you're just going to create like a wall for the trash. So, y'all, the job was, it, it's not a, it's, it's not difficult, but it's very, uh, it's very, uh, it's not technical. <laughs> it's not difficult, but it is very uncomfortable to fix because everything is already built in but it's worth it because we literally paid probably 10 bucks y'all we were blessed with the part um so that was great but the part itself i think was like what was it like 49 dollars like that yes 49 dollars. so even though we had to buy the part you guys it was worth it it would have cost us some big bucks to get this done at a shop they had whooped us on labor uh, alone so we did it <laughs> high five eight <laughs> all right you guys so um thanks for watching um appreciate you guys make sure you like share and subscribe um your girl gonna get out in this water it's gonna be a journey for us because we have no idea how to drive no boat we are learning about boats any boat tips would be so appreciated you guys let us know um anything that we need to do when we're out there any tips watching taking care of the boat whatever you guys um so catch you smiles and we'll catch you guys later all right <laughs> Okay, you guys, so this is the part that we replaced. This is the 500 GPH cartridge aerator pump, model number 3850. And as you can see, the previous owner cut it way too short, which um, was the reason that we could not screw on the mesh strainer. Um, and this is, again, for our live well. And so we got another part. We didn't need the actual cartridge, but we did need the housing for it. So we only used the housing. We only swapped out the housing. We left everything else intact, which was the cartridge, the part that you saw that we screwed on. But other than that, it, was, it wasn't a hard job as far as trying to figure out what to do and trying to get things connected. It was more just trying to move in that small space. If we would have had the space available, this project would have been done really really fast but um just wanted to share this with you guys hope it was helpful um appreciate as always you guys supporting the channel um, make sure you like share and subscribe and as always catch these smiles and i'll catch you guys later all right stay tuned for the next one